Virgos, welcome to your heart spread read. Mid-November read. It's a love, romance, relationship read for the one that's on your heart, one that's in your mind. Eight cards uh, take on the shape of a heart. And we're done. Now we'll look at you and your person, get some idea how you're interacting, get some advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole and an outcome, guys. So thank you. And here we go. The lover's card. <laughs> So, this shows where your mind is at in and around relationships in this mid-November time period. You could go quite literal here and say you're in lover's energy. Um, I try to separate this kind of from the relationship and see a, as a baseline kind of where you're at. But I feel like when, when this shows up in the number one or the number two position, I mean, your energy... Um, you're just so very much in love that, you know, it just, that's the overwhelming energy of you right now. So, in this energy, this is your read, I think, to resonate, it would mean, you know, people are noticing it, probably. People, you're telling people, people might even just see it on you. Um, um, it's that glow, really, of love. Very brilliant. Look at the brilliant star there, you know. Um, so, you got to say, it's pretty good energy coming to a relationship, but... Now, my God, your person, where they're at in their own love and relationships, this is a also baseline for them. It's trying to see where they're at, and it's good because this isn't related to you, but this is lack mentality. It's never feeling good enough, not being good enough. And I get the feeling like this is someone, your partner, maybe they're asking themselves or they've said to you, maybe in a coy way or a dreamy way, or they've said to their friends, you know, um, why would this Virgo be interested in me? I mean, they're so amazing, and you know, look, look at me. Why would they be? Why would they want me? So it's kind of that kind of energy, and it's always a dangerous energy in relationships. It uh, tends to manifest uh, trouble for us. You know, when we're in this energy, it's not uncommon. You know, if we didn't get good self-esteem when growing up, we weren't guided. Uh, and that kind of thing um, so let's see what how you're reacting to them though Wow <laughs> cross watcher if you're there okay you, you are really blessed here this person's coming in this Virgo with the lovers energy and for you they have the Sagittarius temperance energy and this is the energy of no red flags feeling like everything's okay being in it to win it, in it for the long run. Uh, it's a great card to get for how you feel. If you feel like you're in temperance energy, this is about your person, that's how they make you feel, that's fantastic, you know. Uh, with that energy, do anything you want. It's balanced, it's feeling good, it's fire, it's Jupiter, it feels lucky. It's coming with the lovers. Look, even the colors, look at the dress and the water, and it's just uh, these beautiful colors flowers and femininity venus energy love orange and red fiery fiery energies queen of wands on the bottom of the deck oh, let's see now this is the how they're feeling towards you wow this is really clear guys okay i'm so sorry your person if you're cross watching i get it you know um, it's like you don't feel good enough, but their feeling about you, they go to the Eight of Pentacles, which is an always positive card. It's always doing the good work. It's wanting to do good work, doing good work. But it's a little sad because they feel like they have, this is like feeling like they have to earn your love, earn your attention. And I, I'm, I don't think that they do. It's maybe just a feeling that they have because that's part of their lack mentality, guys. It's not about you yet you know this is about you that but what it is is they're like wow um, again like wow I can't believe this you know, Vir Virgo would be interested in little old me um, and not feeling good enough and really trying to make maybe some overcompensation this could be you know uh, eight of Pentacles and now towards you could be love bombing you know uh, giving you things trying to reassure themselves somehow um, with this but with you having temperance towards them, it, it, it almost doesn't matter what it is over here. 
because you would see, this is major arcana, uh, you would see and know, Virgo, that there's something special going on in this relationship here. Let's see, guys. Emperor. I mean, look, you've got the lovers, temperance, and now the emperor. Aries energy showing up here, Virgo. But I think what this means is advice for spirit, how to deal with your person. Um, you're going to be kind of hard. Your advice is to be hard. Don't compromise your values. Don't compromise anything. Don't settle for anything. You know, um, be kind of hard and rigid. Like uh, you, you know what you want. Um, and with the emperor here, it's you really have advice from spirit to go ahead and throw down on it. Make it, uh, uh, you know, if you have a wish list, uh, make some of them uh, um, or all of them deal breakers. Right now, this is advice for your person towards you, Queen of Cups. Wow. So this is the advice for your person in terms of how to relate to you in the best way. And this is spirit trying to tell if you're cross-watching or if you want to share this with your person. Um, this is spirit trying to tell you it's corny, but you are good enough here. You know, look, you're a queen of cups here. I mean, the queen of cups, uh, that's in line to be the high priestess. That's, uh, you know... Um, not to be taken lightly here and it's someone that could meet the Emperor so I see that as really nice pairing there the Emperor and the Queen of Cups let's see what the advice is for this relationship as a whole Wow Ace of Pentacles that's starting a solid new relationship this is in the core of the heart spread the core of the heart crux here of the heart as it takes shape and the ace of pentacles is not fooling around it's you've really considered it it's like the universe really considered it for you and they're finding that you need to make this solid here and your person here they may calm down uh, Virgo not to make light but like as they see that you're human and uh, you might even fart and everything um the glow will come off and I think it'll be fine and this ace of Pentacles is getting solid here it's both people being sincere making a new beginning I mean if you did not want uh, a solid new relationship or marriage even then this is um, uh, you got to maybe see where this is going here because that's where this relationship wants to go here the two of swords it's funny i just said what i just said because you may not be with where you want it to go so you've got the ace of pentacles you've got all this advice from spirit you've got the emperor you've got the queen of cups look at the advice cards the emperor the ace of pentacles and the queen of cups guys that's that's spirit saying there's a relationship here um I do note that both the Emperor and the Queen are pointing away from the relationship here. Do I get to clarify this Knight of Swords? I'm in Cancun, Mexico, so I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. What we could have here is a Mexican standoff. Two people refusing to budge somehow, some kind of power thing. And with the advice from spirit it's definitely going to be your advice Virgo is if something was not being said it needs to be said in this relationship um, and maybe what needs to be said is uh, Virgo maybe what you need to say is you know I'm not in love with you or I'm not ready right now to be in love with you or I'm just not ready to be in love right now um, and I would note that this, in the outcome now, your Knight of Swords is facing back towards you and towards Temperance. And for your Crosswatcher and your other person, I still don't see this as, as being a relationship that's over. I see this as being like you needing to take control here, um, being kind of swept up in this energy um, with this person. Um, and 
you just needing a minute to think about it. It is like a little bit like cold feet, you know, uh, at a wedding or something kind of energy. It could uh, manifest that way, you know, as a metaphor. You know, you're on the way to the chapel and you're like, oh no, I can't go through with this kind of energy. Um, so it doesn't mean it's over, but of everything else, you know, you have to really be brutally honest about everything regarding this with yourself. Even if you don't talk to the other person, I always think that's a good idea. Um, you yourself need to be brutally honest about how you really, what you really think and feel about the situation. Um, it's like you're you're uh, uh, having a relationship with this person. It's it would be down the road after you can take some time to consider um, whatever it is you need to consider here, Virgo. So let me know. Please leave a comment. It only helps the channel. Uh, like, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. Please do subscribe. Thank you, guys.